Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a repair on this two-stroke expansion chamber. She got a good crack on this side after a previous repair. The other side has a pretty good crack as well. So our first goal is to get rid of this gap with a hammer. We'll try to pound this flat, see what we can do. It may or may not work. Same thing on the other side. Try to fill in this gap a little bit by pounding these pieces together. After that, we'll touch it with the angle grinder with a flap disc, and then we'll run a bead over it and see what we can get. Exactly what we wanted. And that's just enough to scuff the surface a bit, get rid of this coating so that we can get a nice clean weld. So when we took the hammer to this part, unfortunately it tucked this lip in. We want to try to get that out. So what we're going to do is weld this piece of steel onto that lip and try to pull it and tap it up, get it to come back flush. Okay, we've successfully pulled it a little flatter. This will do. Uh, we're starting to get another crack here and a little bit longer crack here. So before we move any more metal, we just need to add some weld, get this thing stronger. About 50 amps or so. This is roughly 18 gauge. So that should be close enough. We're doing okay until we burn the hole. This stuff is so thin. Damn. Turned out okay. Right, right here we had to fill in that hole. It'll work. This stuff is so easy to melt through that we had to patch quite a bit. So on this first side, I'm gonna take the flap disc and just go over all this middle crap, uh, the stuff that looks pretty bad. And then once it's all sanded down clean, I'll run one nice bead over the end of it. Okay, she's all patched up. We ended up grinding off the welds because it just wasn't looking great. This is a two stroke, which means there's quite a bit of oil left on the inside walls of the pipe. And when you weld that, the oil gets mixed in with that molten metal, creates all sorts of uh, pores and just dirty welds in general. So we ground everything down and added what we could. Fortunately, it's fixed. The crack is gone. Uh, it doesn't look the best, but it'll do. On the other side, we ground down the spot where we patched it, patched that hole. But like I said, it's no longer cracked and it'll ride great. So uh, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to follow us on more of our projects.